Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com. Today I wanna to show you one of my favorite parts about using Yive. Now, if you're not familiar with what Yive is, I'll put the link below this video. I have a full demo and review of going through the entire uh, platform showing you what it is and how it works. But in this specific video, what I'm gonna do is take you inside and show you how the spin tax video part of it works. So this is how you can submit pretty much any amount of videos you want to any number of YouTube channels you want uh, for mass video marketing to create hundreds or even more videos that you want to promote for affiliate products, for local marketing, uh, or anything you want to do to drive traffic to it. So the first thing you have to do is give it a name. So for this example, I'm just going to type in spin tax. This isn't going to be a real um, campaign that I'm going to set up, but just more or less a demo to show you the options available. So once you put in your name, you want to make sure you check the box of the campaign you want to run and click next step. Now in this step here, this is the setup step where it is going to give you the option to enter all the details about how you want your videos to be set up. So basically this is how it works. In the top box, you're going to enter some keywords. These keywords have to be separated by a comma. And then what it's going to do is it's going to use these keywords to create your videos with. It's going to use this keyword in your video title, your description, and your tags. So it's highly relevant and it's going to help it to rank better. So let's just say, for example, I am promoting a local business that does mobile pet grooming. What I would do is I would come in this box. I would paste some keywords. I'm just going to use three for this example. And I'm going to make sure that I separate them with a comma. And in this box here, what we're gonna do is enter some asset keywords. Now, what these keywords do is it allows Yive to search uh, stock videos for, uh, based around these keywords, so it can use to create your video with. So if you've used Content Samurai or are familiar with it, this uses the same source as it does to find stock videos, so they are very high quality. So what you can do in this box is you wanna be very broad with it because you wanna make sure that it can find videos based around these keywords. So you could do like dog, dogs, uh, maybe dog grooming, there may be some videos on that. And then you can even type in a couple different types of dogs, maybe some long haired dogs or something uh, that, it, that you may be able to find videos on too. But what you don't wanna do in this box is you don't wanna enter keywords like mobile pet grooming because chances are there's not very many videos about mobile pet grooming. So you may not get very many results that way. You wanna do something very broad, something like dog. Dog grooming, there's probably a lot of videos on that topic itself. Now the next two steps are optional. Uh, search with slide text and select assets. So what this does is it's gonna take uh, keywords from your script that you use and try to find assets based upon those keywords. So down here is your script box and this is where you're going to paste the script that you want to use for your video. Now remember we are in the spin tax campaign type. Not all campaign types require you to enter a script. So for example if you want to promote Amazon products it's automatically going to grab content from that product and use it. You don't need your own script and the same with some of the other campaigns. But with a spin tax campaign, it gives you that option. It gives you more flexibility and control over exactly what you want in your videos. And that's why I really like this campaign type. So you can choose here for it to automatically try to use the text in your script to find assets. If you uncheck this, it won't do that. Instead, it'll just use these keywords to try to find videos and assets to use to create your video with. And then this option here allows uh, Yive to automatically choose the assets and render it. It says you may either let Yive choose assets automatically from asset keywords or you can select them manually on the next step. So I'm going to leave this right here so it can just automatically choose them uh, so I don't have to uh, come in here and babysit it all the time. So in here you're going to paste your script. So I have just a very generic script I'm going to paste in here. Whoops, that's still my titles. Let me go back over here and copy this. Okay, so here's my script I added in here. Now what's really neat is you'll see this little tag down here, it says keyword. So what I'm gonna do is come up here at the very beginning and click, and then I'm gonna come down here and click on keyword, and you can see where it added it into the description. So what this does, or actually, this is the script, so I don't want it, we'll just do this. So what this will do is this will insert 
uh, the keyword, the first keyword, this one here, at the very beginning of your script. So when the video starts, it's actually going to read this text, which makes the video more relevant to your keyword and it's gonna help it to rank better. And you can enter this wherever you want to throughout your script. You can also add it at the very end of your script if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. But what's really nice is that per video, it will stay on the same keyword wherever you use this keyword tag. So down here is the video title. So I can click keyword here. And what it's going to do since we're uh, focused on this first uh, title or first keyword only, it's going to continue to use this keyword throughout the entire video. So when it does the next video, uh, let's say this one here, then it's going to use this keyword and it's going to use that in the script, in the title, in the description, in the tags. So it's the same for every video. So what we can do here is for the video title, we can uh, use keyword and then we can put something after it. We can do best dog grooming or whatever you want to put and you can use spin tax here as well. Okay, URLs, this is neat. This is if you have multiple websites you wanna promote, you can put them in here and separate them by commas. And then in your description, you can tick URL and then it'll cycle through the URLs just like it did for the keywords. So the video description is where your actual description is gonna go and you can use spin tax in here as well. So what I would do is use my keyword and then I would come in here and I would put, if you don't have URLs up here, if you just want to use one, you could just put in whatever uh, your website address is, just say doggrooming.com. And then you would put a spin tax article after that. So all the videos that it uploads here, it's going to have the main keyword and then it's going to have the link going to your website. And then for tags, you want to put keyword here. So your main keywords always in there. And then you can add some other keywords in here if you want. Now down here in the intro text, what you can do is this is basically just like an intro. So when it first shows up, it's going to show this text and you can add this on here if you want to keyword. It just makes it more relevant once again. And then you can choose the, the intro background color for this keyword to show up on. So as soon as the video starts, it's gonna have this little background show up. Let's just say we want it to be black. And then we want the text to be white. So we can do that. And then at the end of the video, we can do the same thing again. It'll show our main keyword, then we can have an outro background caller, and then the text caller. Once that's done, you're gonna click on next. And here's where we're gonna set up the video slides. So this gives you full control over how you want to create your video. So slides per video. So uh, let's say we're only making three videos for this one. And let's say for each video, we want there to be anywhere from 11 to 15 slides. So that's how it's gonna make it. And it's gonna randomly pick between this. So that way each video is unique and different. And then you can choose the duration per slide. So let's just say we want the duration per slide to be between five and nine seconds. So it's gonna tell you down here that each video is gonna range between one minute to three minutes. Now down here, it says look and feel, add animated text and overlay on the video. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna add animated text as it's reading your script onto your video. And so you can use this, I normally don't. I like mine just showing the video in the background and then you can also have the audio voice um, automatically done using Amazon Polly or Google Voice. And so what I normally do is just keep it on Amazon Polly and keep it on Matthew. But you can see here there's different languages that you can uh, choose from, from Amazon Polly as well as from Google Voice. And so if you're using a specific, um, a different language on your video, you wanna make sure that you match it up here. And then you can also, if you want, you can choose randomly. So each of your videos sounds a little bit different because it uses a, a different voice. What I usually do though, is I normally stick with Matthew cause I like that one the best. But of course it's, you know, it's, it's totally your preference, what you want. And you can choose the audio here. So you have the choice of having voice over with background music or just having the voiceover or just having the background music. So you can choose if you want it to actually read off the script during the video, if you just only want there to be music or if you want there to be both. 
So when that's done, you want to click on save and go to next step. Now this here is how you want it to be scheduled out. So we're only doing three videos here. So this is a very, very small campaign. Uh, normally, if I'm doing local marketing, I want to have at least 50 to 100 videos covering a wide variety or a wide area. Uh, but for this example, it's going to ask you how do you want to distribute the videos. I always choose auto. So what this does is once it renders the videos and it goes through the queue, it's going to automatically upload these videos to the YouTube channels that I choose right here. So you can see YouTube channels if I select in here. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, do you want to upload this to a specific YouTube group? So this is really cool. I have uh, several different YouTube groups and I have tons and tons of different channels added in here. So what I can do, if I want this to upload to just one channel, I'm only going to select just say one channel. But if I want to upload it to a group that I created, so if we go over here to Stacker, you can go to YouTube groups and create groups. And let's say I have a group of uh, 50 YouTube accounts. I can come in here and I can choose one of those groups of 50 accounts. And what that's going to do is distribute all these videos among those 50 accounts. And so we're not just hitting one YouTube account, but we're going through multiple YouTube accounts, which is going to uh, be a lot safer for our accounts. And then after that, you can choose your upload interval. So how often do you want it to upload a video? You can choose 60 minutes. You can choose how many ever minutes you want to. If you're going through a lot of different accounts, you can take this thing down to say, you know, five or 10 minutes even. Uh, but if you're using it on one account to upload all your videos, you want to make sure that you really spread the videos out a little bit. Then you can choose the tags for your videos. Uh, we have keyword here and dog grooming is what we added earlier. You can automatically add translations. Uh, it's integrated with a Google API, which will translate the titles and descriptions on your videos. So if we click that, we can also choose check. And you can see here all the different languages it'll automatically uh, translate to, which is really, really cool. Uh, most other tools that I've seen, they actually charge extra for this feature here. Okay, now if you have SendLab or SendWire, you can integrate with this and basically what this will do is after it uploads your video, it's going to syndicate it through this service. So it's going to get you more backlinks, which is going to help it to rank better and hopefully rank better in Google too. So uh, if you're not familiar with what these are, check below my video here. I'll, I'll put links to them so you can get more details about those too. And then here you want videos per day. So how many videos per day do you want to publish from this campaign? We recommend you do not publish more than five videos per day per channel to keep your account in good standing with YouTube. So with that said, if you just have one channel that you're posting to, you want to keep videos per day between two videos and no more than five videos a day. Now, if you have two YouTube channels you're uploading to, you can go up to 10 a day. That means it's going to publish five videos on each channel. Uh, video Total video count, we could do... Uh, well, we've only got three main keywords, so it's just going to be a three. So this doesn't matter really for this campaign. And then your, your total videos a day. So really, it's just going to be three and three because we only have three total videos to do for this campaign. Okay, so next we have render automatically. So this is going to automatically start creating your videos as soon as you start this campaign. So you want to leave this on. Next, campaign status. This is if you want to start the project now. So we can go here and then click save and it's going to start the project and that's all there is to it. So without me going through the talking of all this, this video is taking about 14 minutes. Normally for me to set up an entire campaign like this, I already have everything ready to go. I have all my content ready. So it normally takes me maybe five, six minutes to go through and set all this up. Um, and then what I'll do is I forgot to mention this the thumbnails here because you can upload a folder of thumbnails and it'll randomly pick from the thumbnails in that folder or you can assign individual thumbnails for your keyword so that options there too um, but but yeah normally I will have all my content already created and it won't take me more than five to six minutes to set up an entire campaign of 100 200 or even like 300 videos and then you just let it go and you let it run. It's going to go out and create all these videos. It's going to be sending uh, tons of traffic to whatever source that you want to, as long as you're focusing on good keywords, it's bringing in traffic, of course. 
but that's but this is how it works this is how the spin tax campaign type works and what I'm going to be doing is I'll, I'll be going over different uh, different campaign types over the next couple of weeks explaining each one of them and, and how they work but what I wanted to do was just uh, point out the spin tax videos because that is one of my favorite to use so but this is the spin tax campaign type of Yive if you guys want to know more about it check out the links under this video um, I don't know if this tool will always be available because there is a certain limit of server capacity that it can handle and once it, once it reaches that point it will not be available until there is more space available so keep that in mind if this is something that you're interested in so uh, this is Jive hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to know more about these campaign types please subscribe to my channel as I'll be going into more detail about them over the next coming weeks thanks